Welcome to the Master Wong TV. On this lesson on the Wing Chun training on the level two, I will go through the thing you've been learning already. All the energy drill side on the punching, how to make the movement properly in line. As you remember, into the training, into the training, training you do is punching straight like that. In real life, people punching like that. You have to adapt yourself in the real world. Otherwise, you have problem. You not often to find somebody to train with you like that. So you have to understand this. Otherwise, you have problem. We're going to go outside, trap, come in and put the elbow in. How to take your opponent out very quickly and make some movement in so they can see some excitement happening when you put them together. Let me put the gym. Now the idea is when you're working with the punch tool that you've done already, as you remember, when you go outside, trap, come in and elbow. Now this is how we're going to put it into the real action to make it something so you can see. So when attack come in, mm, line here, mm, mm, here, here, bang here. So this is where line movement coming in, okay? One more small one so you can see. Quick, learn, line, hand, hand, change this hand here, and then elbow. Slowly one has. One, cover. Hand, hand, this hand underneath here. Quickly change at the hand coming in. As that coming in, elbow, press, coming in there. That will come back and you try to hit me, my hand is here already, don't worry about that, I can bash him up. When you're working with this, you need to understand a few things. How to replicate this in a real life. Now real life, when he's punching, he will pull the hand back. You have to make sure don't go past the line here. You're going to have problem because as soon as you go past the line here, he will hit you. You have this hand, but he still can whack you because it's too quick. So you have to need to understand the line of this here. Same thing that when we do the punch roll, yeah? Hand, the hand when you're coming in, yeah? Like this, line, okay? We're not gonna pass through this, yeah? Like that, line, okay, here. So move your hand away, I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. Principle no different. You work exactly the same way. A Little bit faster, you can see the idea. Yeah, boom, on break here. So the hand hmm, coming here, punch coming inside, ha, hmm, here, ha, 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 ha. I can do whatever I want to him. You need to know that your leg has a crown. Good quality movement. True, you have to be able to learn and embed into your body. So you can able to make things become you. You the one control the machine, the machine don't control you. Arm and leg, it belong to you. You control that. Don't let your leg control you. So when you go slowly again to line, one, two, here. Hand, hip coming in, and then turn. Now when you hit coming in, and then turn, make sure you're in line out of the way. Don't get too close. Okay, so many things can happen. He can lean forward, and that can be out happening. There's so many things happen, so away. Lean forward, I press, I'm here. Then, easy for me to come to the elbow. Make sure the hand is here. When the elbow come, hit come along from here, attack. One more small one. Block, block, change, hit, change, hit, elbow. Hit this side, for instance, I'm here, in case. Okay, thank you. That's the idea. You need to spend a little bit of time to searching for yourself, to find the real you, so they can make the movement action, so they can make it happen. If you have all this training, without no understanding of the movement, that won't be able to make it happen for you. Training is so important to make it functional. Everything you got into your body have to be functional, work together like the machine with good operating system, not a bad operating system that don't talk each other. Practice as much as you can. If you've got a problem, go to the TV, go into the forum, we're there to help you. I will see you again until next lesson.